And we pray in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 You may be <laughs> Dylan's still ready. He's got no reward. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13. Am I too loud? No. Okay. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13, chapter that love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, does not boast. It's not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. This is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. I would just like to say a few words of encouragement before we go any further, okay? <laughs> We've been married 34 years, so I have a little bit of experience. I know most of, some of you have more experience than I do, so uh, I, I, I'm just saying, but I just want to say some things from my marriage. Put God at first in your life. There are going to be rough times that you go through in your marriage. We all go through rough times. There's a lot of great times, but there are some rough times. And when you go through those rough times, you're going to need God to lean on. So I just want to encourage you to both make a decision and put God first in your lives, okay? Also, be quick to forgive. Granny Eloise, Grace's grandmother, my mother-in-law, she said, choose peace every day, all day. We need to forgive. We all mess up, even me. <laughs> and we all need the person that we mess up, our spouse, to be able to forgive us. And on the other side, we need to learn how to forgive. Nobody is perfect. Are well, some of you here today perfect? <laughs> Nobody? Okay. So we're all we're in the same boat, right? We all need to learn how to forgive. And when we forgive, remember the scripture I just read? It says, love keeps no, no uh, record of forgiveness. No wrongs, I'm sorry. When we forgive, don't bring it up again. When you forgive, forgive wholeheartedly. Forgive. You may not forgive, but you choose to forgive anyway. Continue to do the things that you fell in love, that brought you here together. It's neat because I, I, I know you guys, and I know you all love one another. I see how much y'all love each other. But just because you get married doesn't mean you stop doing the things that you did to fall in love. So as you grow in your marriage, continue to, to, to love one another. Continue to grow and to love and to nourish that love. I know y'all love Maverick. He's awesome. We all love Maverick, right? Yeah. Don't we? Yeah. Yes. But this needs to be protected. Marriage is one day going to find a wife, and he's going to be looking at your marriage to see what kind of wife he wants to find. He's going to be looking at your marriage to know how to treat a woman. So he's going to be watching you. He's going to want to know, how should I treat my wife? And that's going to be the way that you treat Christ. And he's going to be looking for a wife who treats his, him like you treat Dylan. So make sure y'all set a great example. Also, y'all need to continue how to laugh and grow. Make y'all relationship stronger and stronger. 
when your kids grow and they're out of your house, I see so many times that the husband and wife look at one another and they have no idea what to do. Because their life was tied up in their kids. Which is not bad. You need to be good parents. But you need to first of all learn how to love one another. We were not. I hate to say this, Grace, but we were excited when you and Sophie moved out. <laughs> I mean, we, it, we, you know, I, it's good. I mean, because we loved each other, you know, and, and we knew that we could travel together and we can still grow and make memories. So make sure that your love continues to grow. Protect it. Do whatever you have to do. But make sure that your love continues to grow, okay? Okay, Dylan and Grace, love has brought you here today. You will soon be married in holy matrimony. You will no longer live your lives as two separate people, but as one. So Dylan, do you commit to having, to holding Grace as your forever wife? Will you lead her gently, love her always, and protect her physically and spiritually? And can you promise to love her as long as you both shall live? And Grace, do you commit to loving Dilly, Dylan as your forever husband? Will you support him completely, love and pray for him always, and care for him daily? Can you promise to love no other as long as you both shall live? Okay, now I'll take stage files. This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, before we do, these words are to be taken seriously, okay? So, the words that we're about to speak, make sure they come from your heart. Hold hands, don't teach other things. Dylan, repeat after me. I, Dylan, take you, Grace. Be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. Grace, repeat after me. I, Grace, take you, Dylan, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. Do you have your wings? Let's see you there, man. All right, let me just say this. The rings are made of precious metal, which is symbolic of the precious relationship that you two have for one another. They're also unending as a circle, which is symbolic for the unending love that you have for one another. So Dylan, as you place the ring in Gracie's hand, turn page one. <laughs> <laughs> Repeat after me. With this ring, I be wed. Turn it back. I can't see. I should walk. Hold on. Hey everybody, thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing this. It shows how old I am, but it's, it's, it's what it is, what it is. <laughs> I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. With this ring, I give way. 
Hey, Grace, did you place the ring on Dylan's finger? Please look at me. I give you this ring as a sign of my love and faithfulness. With this ring, I be wed. As you have now expressed your vows to one another in the presence of all these witnesses here, and also before all the Lord, I now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> <laughs>